Good morning. So today I'm going to make one of my uh, favorite breakfasts. I'm going to have bacon, egg, tomato, cheese on an English muffin. Bacon is one of the few things that I refuse to cook in here, so I already did that up outside. But another thing about bacon is that it's one of the most healthiest foods you can eat. If you can uh, just compose your diet 100% of bacon, you'll probably live forever. So that's something that you should shoot for. But I'm going to make up my breakfast here. Then after that, go explore some of the backcountry forest roads. So I've been cooking all the time with my induction cooktop recently and recharging my battery with a DC to DC charger. I used to have the Renogy 20 amp model but uh, after a month of using that it already broke down. It was just turning off and on, off and on. Uh, it must have had a faulty sensor in it or something but uh, I sent that in for a refund and this time I went for the Renogy 40 amp model and I'm pretty happy with that but uh, my alternator is just on the verge of uh, what it's capable of supplying so I might have to upgrade that now too. And my 200 watts of solar hasn't been supplying anything through these winter months and uh, I've been getting by fine without it actually so i kind of been questioning do I really need to have it because <laughs> right now it's just extra weight. Right now my only critical use for the electricity is the diesel heater and I can recharge the battery pretty quick with the DC to DC charger but uh, in the summer it's really only about using my induction cooktop. I hate cooking with the gas stove in here even though I cracked this window and I got the vent running the fumes still make me feel lightheaded but uh, I'm actually kind of lightheaded right now I'm, <laughs> I'm really hungry so I gotta stop flapping my lips and make some breakfast One good thing about this cold weather is that I can really stock up on food. Since it's right on the floor, it always stays nice and cool in there. When I was up in Yellowknife, there's frost forming inside there. I'm going to take my soccer mom minivan to the extreme today. But safety first. I'm going to put the chains on for this one. These coffee beans came all the way from Brazil and they were roasted in Canmore by Eclipse. So I lied, my solar is actually providing about 2.1 amps right now, but uh, that's just barely enough to power my lights. Maybe if my panel's tilted then I could get 6 or 7 amps out of it, but uh, to get through the Canadian winter on solar alone, I think you'd want at least 500 watts that could tilt, and it would be very difficult to set that up. I mean at that point you might as well just get a 40 or 60 amp DC to DC charger and uh, you'd be laughing. But uh, there's nothing wrong with having a little bit of solar on your van. I mean, if you're ever camped out in the summer, it'll help you out a lot. Uh, my 200 watts is <laughs> massive overkill in the summer. Usually by 10 a.m. I'm 100% topped up. But uh, it definitely extends my range a little bit more into the spring and fall. And yeah, I finally got a drone. I've been wanting to get one of these for a long time now. But I'm actually glad that I waited because the technology has come so far and these things are so small now and the cameras are so good. I remember when the Mavic first came out and there's so much hype around that. Yeah, this is the uh, Mavic Air and I'm pretty happy with it so far. 
But the only problem now is finding places to fly it. The majority of the southern Alberta Rockies from Jasper to Banff to Kananaskis, all protected land, so you can't fly a drone in there. Well, I was thinking about doing a summit hike out here today, but uh, it's pretty cloudy, so I think I'll pass. But uh, yesterday I did get a good hike in on Mount Century, so my legs could probably use the rest. I don't mind hoof prints, but when you see paw prints this big, you start to worry. It could be a cougar or a wolf. I got my bear spray with me though. I think I'm gonna head over to the other side of the highway now. I found a good camp spot over there and uh, there's a neat looking trail for fat biking too. See what I mean? There's a really good spot here to camp. I'm going to have some instant noodles for dinner tonight and uh, I'll mix in some bacon with that and that'll be a true recipe for immortality. I mean any kind of vegetable, anything like that, you just want to completely eliminate that from your diet and you'll be a lot healthier in the long run. Before people start taking me seriously, I actually have a pre-made salad kit tonight. Uh, these things are really handy if you're living in a van and you don't have a sink to wash your vegetables. And I'm going to cook up some chicken and mix that in with it too. Just a simple meal tonight, uh, nothing complicated. I was thinking about having a campfire out here tonight, but then I got to thinking it's 2019 and here in the future there's a new kind of campfire and we call it video games, so I think that's what I'm going to do. And uh, also I think that's going to be the end of this video, so uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.